Me back again. Mm. You know when you just see some shit and you think to yourself, that was so unnecessary. Like, why do you need to say that? Why don't you just keep your mouth fucking shut? Like? So, I see this post on the Shea Bar. Girls Alive reportedly reuniting in honour of late bandmate Sarah Harding. So, I'm assuming, obviously, the bandmate Sarah Harding is not in this photo because, obviously, allegedly, I think she's passed away. The only one that I recognise in this photo is Sherelle Cole. Now, I remember Girls Aloud, um, there's one track I remember, Sound of the Underground, something, something, beat goes round, round, round something like that, innit? So, uh, you lot don't reach me in the comment section, innit? But um, that's the only song I remember, Girls Aloud. So, I mean, I'm assuming there was five of them, they're down to four, unfortunately. Someone passed away, innit? Um, let's say this is a, a old photo and the Sarah Harding woman is in it. Someone put in the comment section which one she is, but I'm assuming that she's not. Anyway, for some reason, I found myself in a comment section of that post. And I'm just reading, I don't even know why I was looking through the comments. Anyway, I was just flicking through the comments and I see some dumb comments. I'm sorry, like, why do you need to say that? Like, why don't you just keep your mouth shut, blood? So there's some idiot. He left a comment, man's blanked out his profile picture, man's blanked out his name. And he ain't getting no clout of a J Ross clout. Why? But it says, seems like... Back in the days, diversity was nowhere to be found. No wonder why black women ended up being last choice of everyone. Glad there has been some improvements. Like, yo, what has that got to do with girls allowed, blood? Like to say there weren't girl bands that had black girls in it around that time. Some of you lot put down in the comment section girl bands that were out, uh, around that time operating between 04 and, and 2010. I can't think of any um, the names, but I know the faces and that. Bullshit. This is a man that's got a victim mentality. This is a man that just believes in systemic racism. He believes he's a victim and that. That's what I'm saying. You get around these people, you could have a conversation talking about cars. Somehow, the conversation will get on to black oppression and, and how things are difficult and, and how England is racist, blood. And that's the thing. I was talking about this earlier in a video that I uploaded on TikTok. you got people in this country complain about systemic racism and that, and how England's fucked, it's a shit country and that, well, fuck off then. If you don't like the country that you're in, fuck off. What are you doing here? Yeah, I don't want to sound like these men from up north who have some agenda to, you know what I'm saying, innit? You socially cleanse England, get rid of all the foreigners and all the people, them of dark pigmentation and that, but fuck off out of the country, yeah? If you don't like the place you're in, Fuck off. You talk about, oh, Jamaica's the best place. Oh, Nigeria, oh, Ghana. Go back there then. Yeah, the motherland. Africa, the motherland and that. Well, go back to the motherland then. You know, you know England's one of the best places there. I know the economy is a bit shit at the moment and that. But maybe the people them who is in power ain't been running things properly, you know. But when I see dumb comments like this, I just know there's just something wrong with it. Look, this guy has an illness. He has, a, he has an illness. What the fuck has black women got to do with the passing of an artist, a singer? Had nothing to do with Girls Aloud. Had nothing to do... That, that comment's got nothing to do... Black women got nothing to do with Girls Aloud. Black women got nothing to do with Sarah Harding. Why the fuck are you even leaving this comment? These people are ill. They got, they got an illness, man. They're mentally ill, fam. And then you got people who want to talk about, ah, oh, teach kids black oppression. What the fuck? Oh. Obviously, my girl is half Polish, half Iraqi. So obviously, when I have kids of her, they're gonna be mixed race, yeah. One of her, one of my girl's dumb friends said, "Oh yeah, well you know you're gonna have mixed race kids, yeah. So you know you need to teach them about black oppression." My girl said, "No, I'm not teaching them about black oppression. We can teach them about a black history and that, but I'm not going to teach them about black oppression. I'm not going to raise my child to be a victim. This guy here." He's got a victim mentality. This post had nothing to do with black people, but yet still you want to bring up black people. Like to say there weren't other black artists operating and making money at that time. Just dumb, man. So, yeah, I, I, I'm not teaching my child about no black oppression, none of that bullshit. It's poison. There's no advantages to thinking that you're oppressed as a black person. Anyway, that's it for today, man. Stay away. Done.